Welcome birthday people. Um, this is the birthday readings for the Geminis and this is from the 7th until the 13th. Happy birthdays. Everyone is for the 7th until the 13th. Happy birthday. Let's see what's coming up in your readings. Okay. All right. So what we see for the people who were born on the 7th, we see the energy of the Empress. This is a situation where you're dealing with your mom and uh, um, you're dealing with your wives and your mom and your materialistic stability. So this is going to be good. This is going to be wonderful. It's going to be a wonderful year for you guys. So, all right. So what else is coming up? Some sort of information is coming out about your mom. Okay. Or some sort of information is going to be coming out about your wife. Okay, and they're going to be recognizing that people were deceiving your wife or your mother, or they're going to be recognizing that some sort of information was used, your wife or your mother information was used, and people are going to be recognizing this, okay? So I want a lot of you to understand basically what is coming out and it's a year that you're going to be dealing with your wife your information that could have been stolen and people yes some sort of a deceptive mess they're going to be recognizing some sort of a detail and information that came out um and it has to do with your mom your material stability or your wife okay women who have children uh, this month this year is going to be affecting women with children okay so let's see the energy of the uh, yes so there's a situation and information about your mom that is going to be coming out and i see family this is a situation with family and some sort of information about your mom that is going to be coming out then i see a lot of fortune is going to be coming back to a lot of you and the fortune is that money or information that was taken from your mom this is going to be returned to you because they recognize that someone has deceived you of something that your mom have left and i see they're going to be recognizing and i see some sort of a sadness that is going to be here because they're going to be recognizing some sort of a deceptive play and you're going to be finding this out that someone could abuse your mom or your wife's information in uh, this year. That is going to be the same. Um, some sort of a news is coming in that is going to be uh, um, heartbroken. Okay, some sort of a situation about your mother, your kids, that sort of a situation. Let's look at the people who were born on the 8th. Victory and success. Victory and success. You're moving forward. You're moving in the right direction. This is going to be good. Then we have the energy of uh, information um, that came out is going to be helping a lot of you to move forward money is going to be returned to you because they recognize that people have stolen a whole lot of money from you so this is going to be a good year for a lot of you you're going to be victoriously overcoming some sort of a horrible deceptiveness because information came out and they're going to be recognizing that money um some of you is money um, they're going to be recognizing what has happened and transpired. Um, and this is going to be good because a lot of you are going to be overcoming. They're going to be recognizing that Leo has stolen a lot of money from you. Truths are going to be revealed. So a lot of you, um, Gemini, who was born on the 8th of um, the 8th of June, and you're going to be overcoming um, because some sort of a information is going to be coming out, some sort of a data and information. A lot of you, Gemini, are going to be regaining a whole lot of money. Okay, so this is really, really positive. So if you are a Gemini that was born on the 8th, this year is going to be a year of money is going to be returning to you. Some sort of a communication is going to be coming up. And I see um, someone is going to be saying to you, Geminis, they want to return in your life. So be aware. But they're going to be recognizing that a whole lot of money was stolen. Whoever this person is that wants to return in your life has stolen a lot of money from you. So be aware of this in this year because they're going to be recognizing that a whole lot of money was stolen. And I see a whole lot of you are going to be saddened to find out who has stolen this money. Then we're looking at the people who were born 
on the ninth the energy of the hermit is going to be shedding a whole lot of light and you are going to be finding out a whole lot of situation in this year and it has to do with a whole lot of money so it's as if you gemini's are coming and recognizing that a whole lot of money that you should have received you never received this money and um it's as if this year is the year that this money could be returning to you because information is going to be coming to you, advising you of the disturbance that someone took a whole lot of money. So people that was born on the ninth, um, information is going to be coming in that money that you should have received, you have never received this money and they're now going to be recognizing and they're going to be going back to find out who took this money. So I see that they're now investigating a lawyer. Um, for some of you, it's a lawyer. Some of you, it's a high professional person. Who they're now recognizing how this person has took a whole lot of money um, from you, um, Gemini, that was born on the 9th of June. Okay, then we see that a lot of you are waiting for some sort of information from a family member, some sort of a communication um, you're waiting for some sort of a communication to come in in this year. A lot of communication. Some of you could be communication from your kids or some sort of a communication. A tower moment is going to be coming down. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a tower moment is coming down. They're going to be recognizing a whole lot of theft that has transpired. So um, a whole lot of you are going to be recognizing that either a family member or someone that co-create with you has stolen a whole lot of money and they're going to be now recognizing and is going to be resolving the situation people who were born on the 10th of june you have judgment this is about a year where a lot of information is going to be coming out and this judgment has to do with information that a lot of you were not aware of is going to be coming to you this is the energy of the ten of wands it could be that your burdens is going to be over but it's going to be a whole lot of information is going to be coming out about your family that you were not aware of so the energy of the family is in the reverse so so i see a whole lot of pledges seeking some of you could be going and looking up your family trees. This is definitely going to be happening. And you're going to be finding out a whole lot of information about your family. I see um, a lawyer is looking at some sort of a data and information. So some of you could be having some sort of a legal issue. The energy with the family, I see sadness. Sadness for a family. Um, so people who were born on the 10th, I see sadness for a family. And the sadness that is coming up for this family is a um, a Sagittarian in the family is going to be having a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of sadness for the Sagittarian family because they now recognize um, what a Sagittarian have done. Was the Sagittarian married in your family or not? The truth is going to be revealed. People who are born on the 11th, congratulations. You have this energy of taking back your power, whatever that was transpiring and is happening. You're taking back your power. I see a lot of you are going to be recognizing what the Aries the or Sagittarian man has done. If your father is the Aries the or Sagittarian man, this man is going to be uh, sick or you have to help this man in this year if it's your father. I see no um, stability for this man because people recognize what this Aries man has done and how this Aries man has created a whole lot of problems. And I see a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming this Aries man. It could have been your husband or your father, but this man has created a whole lot of problems for you and your business, your house. This person could have took out another mortgage on your house. They are going to be recognizing what this man have done and you're going to be successfully overcoming this man. Then I see friends are going to be coming in. And a lot of you are going to be finding out that your friends were false. Some of you have a girlfriend and it could be a Pisces girlfriend. Um, this person was false. Um, some of you are going to be really recognizing some sort of a deceptiveness um, that was created. And a scorpion person is false. Whoever the scorpion person is, they're going to be recognizing that this um scorpion person it can be a pisces cancer or a scorpion person was false a girlfriend was false and it's all going to be coming out because people are going to be recognizing this so um 
a, definitely a girlfriend was false whether you're a man or a woman a girlfriend was false they're going to be seeing this i see sadness for this girlfriend sadness for this person because they recognize what this person have done if you are born on the uh 12 is uh, the year is going to be transition transition for people who were born on the 12 um this year comes up with transition what is going to be changes at end for a mother and a child they recognize what this mother and this child has done now um some of you it could be you and your mother resolving some sort of a situation that was transpiring and they're going to be recognizing this so i see an end for a young taurus virgo or capricorn person they recognize what this young taurus virgo or capricorn person have done whoever this person is they're investigating this person this person is um taurus virgo or capricorn um and i see they're investigating this person okay i see the energy of a pisces cancer scorpion man whoever this man is um seen for you guys who were born on the 12th is a mother father situation um that is going on is a husband and wife situation that is going on we have the energy of the pisces or the scorpion man and they're recognizing what the scorpion man has done and that a scorpion woman was a very very false okay so uh, um, a government institution organization is, is investigating a pisces cancer or a scorpion man in your life it could be your husband it could be um your brother it could be a family member so this year for you guys is going to be dealing with um uh dealing with uh, uh, it, it, um, resolving issues problem situation resolving issues problems and situation and people recognizing the truth of a woman and her daughter and some sort of a transition is going to be coming up with a woman and her child so if you are a mother you and your child if or you and your mom some sort of a, a situation some of you are, have to deal with a young taurus or a capricorn person Whoever this person is, they're going to be recognizing what is coming up with this person. And it's going to be finding out the truth of this young Taurus Virgo Capricorn person. They're also investigating a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man um, or woman. And a um, government institution organization is investigating and um, trying to figure out who this man is. All right. Then we're moving on to the people who were born on the 13th of june and some sort of information is going to be clear to you in this year what is the information that is going to some information about a friend whoever this friend is i see you're going to be finding out a whole lot of information about a friend that you were not aware of and they are now going to be recognizing who this friend is and what this friend have done the other energy is I see some sort of an offer is going to be coming up for people who were born on the 13th. Uh, offer is going to be coming up for you guys. A whole lot of offer opportunities is going to be coming up. And I see some sort of a news, a letter is going to be coming in. And you guys, if you were applying or wishing for something, um, you are going to be receiving it. An offer is definitely going to be coming up for you guys. Then the last energies you guys have, new love is going to be coming in. The Ace of Cups is here. Some of you could be finding yourself pregnant or you could be adopting or new love. If you were looking for love, new love is going to be in this year, okay? And with the energy of new love, I see love is going to be coming up at home. Some of you could be moving in, um, getting engaged. Um, some of you are going to be starting a new relationship, a new love relationship. This is wonderful and positive. And I see truths are going to be revealed. Wow. Isn't this wonderful? So truths are going to be revealed. People are going to be seeing the truth. A whole lot of information is going to be coming up. A whole lot of you are going to be balancing out. And I see love is going to be coming in for a lot of you. Um, positive, positive alignment of energy is going to be a good year. Um, fortune is going to be coming back for a lot of you. I see people are now going to be recognizing um, 
or who a friend is and this year is a year whatever you apply for whatever you ask for it will be received okay and this is going to be good then we see new love and some of you are going to be moving in um some of you could be getting married and moving in and this is going to be good wow so let's look at the bottom i see sadness for a libran I see they recognize that a whole lot of money was stolen. I see a tower moment is coming down on a bank and a financial institution. I see a whole lot of sadness for a family. They recognize that a young woman was a fraud. Um, and I see um, you got to be careful for a scorpion person. This person is kind of witty. So be careful for a scorpion person. Whoever the scorpion person is, is kind of witty. So you have to be aware of Sadness is going to be coming in because some sort of a data information is going to be coming in that is going to be creating some sort of a sad news um, for some of you in this year. But not to worry, um, the sadness is going to be over. They are now recognizing that a TEF and a whole lot of you are going to be getting back a whole lot of money that was stolen from you because they recognize that a Leo has took a whole lot of money. And they're now recognizing who this Leo is and what this Leo has done. A tower moment is coming down for a bank or a financial institution. And I see sadness. I really see sadness. Um, they recognize that a huge tear. And a lot of you are going to be faced with this. Okay. A lot of you. And they're going to be finding out that a young lady is a fraud a scorpion young lady whoever the scorpion young lady is so they're going to be recognizing who the scorpion young lady is so, and they're going to be recognizing that this young scorpion woman um it, it can be a friend but it's a, it can be a scorpion but it can be a friend but i see sadness for this person because a tower moment came down on this person they recognize a huge theft was created by a government institution corporation and they're now recognizing um, that someone as fraud here, either the tax company or a government institution organization. So um, be aware of this. So, so come back and look at where you fall because all the energies in this month is going to be affecting a lot of you. Um, so come back and look at it. Um, whoever is dealing with uh, um, a lot of you are dealing with a whole lot of issues, but it is a year where you're going to be resolving all of these issues, resolving all of these issues. And remember, if you begin at the seven, you're going to be ending up the year with the energy of uh, um, you begin uh, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. You're going to be ending up. Um, at the um the four the six the six um a line because that they're, they're going to be recognizing because you're dealing with all of these energies and they're going to be now recognizing what has been happening and transpiring it is good to ask for a personalized reading because then that reading is going to be tailored on you and you're going to be understanding and recognize what is going on this reading is is a general reading so for a personalized reading, you have to ask for a personalized reason. Then you will know specific what is happening in every month and what is happening with your financial situation. The 12 houses, I give a really um, braid energies. I give everything for every month that is coming up. I do love you guys. I gotta go, but I'm saying namaste. Until next time.